the e-reta. A lecture outline would be definition and background, the functions of the e-reta, the histology, parts, the regions and dimension, constriction points, and also the blood supply. The ureta is a narrow tube that carries urine from the kidney down to the urinary bladder. We have two ureters because we have two kidneys so that urine are carried from both kidneys down to be stored in the urinary bladder. The functions of the ureter, basically, as we've said before, that it links the kidney with the urinary bladder. It also helps to carry urine that is produced in the kidney to be stored in the urinary bladder. Also within the walls of the ureter, we have constriction points, which basically prevents backflow of urine. The histology of the kidney. The kidney is made up of three subdivision in terms of its microscopic configuration. We have the outer tunica adventitia layer, which is made up of loose connective tissue. We have the middle layer, which is basically the muscular tissue. And this middle layer is presented in a circular and a longitudinal subdivisions. This smooth muscle basically allows for peristatic movement of the ureter, and that is why they're able to propel urine down along the alumen to where it will be stored in the urinary bladder. Then the deepest lining is the mucosa layer, which is basically made up of epithelium. And the type of epithelium that we see in the mucosa layer is transitional epithelium. If you check our previous lecture on epithelium, you will see how we describe the transitional epithelium. They do not have a specific presentation. They are continuously changing from one form to the other, depending on what is contained within the structure. When the ureter is filled with urine, it takes a flat or a squamous presentation. Then when it is empty, when there is no urine contained within its lumen, it takes the form of a cuboidal presentation. The quantity of urine that is contained within the ureter determines the type of epithelium that will be lining the internal mucosa. The ureter can be divided into two regions. We have the abdominal region and the pelvic region. The abdominal region begins from the renal pelvic down to the pelvic brain. And it is this region that is contained within the abdominal space. While the pelvic region begins from the pelvic brain down to the entrance of the urinary bladder. And this is the part of the ureter that is seen within the pelvic cavity. So from this region down to this region is where we have the pelvic region. Why from the renal pelvics down to the brain here is where we have the abdominal region. The dimension basically differs from the abdominal region to the pelvis. The entire length of the ureter is between 25 to 30 cm in length. The dimension in the abdomen is about 10 mm, while in the pelvic region is about 5 mm. This shows that the caliber in the abdominal region is wider. The diameter tends to reduce downwards, and this is basically to create a configuration that will be able to fit into the entrance of the urinary bladder because if the dimension or the configuration of the entrance point at the urinary bladder does not tally with what is coming into it, there is not going to be a proper fixing. So it tends to reduce in length in order to accommodate itself within the space that will be created within the urinary bladder. And that is where you see the differences in their dimension between what you see in the abdomen and what you see in the pelvic. The parts in the abdomen the part that they run basically is you see the ureter behind the renal vessels, which is renal artery and the renal vein. You can see them running behind, and that is how they exit the kidney, because we know that the renal artery supplies blood to the kidney, while the renal vein drains blood out of the kidney. The ureter basically runs behind the renal artery and the renal vein, and they run down descend along the posterior abdominal wall, running retroperitoneally. We've discussed about retroperitoneal presentation, how the relationship of the organ to the peritoneum are seen for it to be a retroperitoneal organ, which means that the peritoneum runs just on 
a particular surface of the erector. In the pelvics, basically, you see that they run lateral walls. They give a S-shaped configuration and they tend to move down to the back because the link that they form with the urinary bladder is actually at the posterior part of the urinary bladder. So it goes behind the urinary bladder to enter into it at the vasoclerotary opening at the back. There is a specific configuration that it forms before it enters into the urinary bladder. And this is a form of tunnel or a curvature. There's a very sharp curvature that it forms just before it enters into the urinary bladder at the back. This curvature is of great physiological importance because this tends to prevent backflow of urine. The urine that already stored in the urinary bladder are now allowed to flow back into the urethra because of this curvature. So this tends to prevent reflux of urine back into the urethra. There are also points of constriction, as we have said. These points of constriction are also of physiological importance because they help to prevent the backflow of urine upwards to go back into the kidney. So we have three major points. The first point is where the renal pelvis becomes the ureter. So there's a constriction at that point. Then also in the pelvic brain, where the ureter is entering into the pelvic, you have another constriction. This also tallies with the point where the abdominal ureter divides into the right and left common iliac artery. Then we have the last constriction, which is at the entrance of the ureter into the urinary blood. These three constriction basically is to control backflow of urine into the kidney. You can see a control channel that is formed by the curvature that we discussed before that prevents backflow of urine from the urinary bladder. You can see another list of constriction points that prevent backflow of urine into the kidney. So all this constriction and configuration basically are to prevent backflow of urine into the ureter and also into the kidney. The blood supply is distinct because we've talked about the two divisions, the abdominal division and also the pelvic division. The abdominal and the pelvic division of the ureter are supplied by different artery. And this can be related to the fact that the abdominal part is closer to the abdominal ureter, which branch to give the renal artery. The renal artery supplies blood to the kidney. So this renal artery there gives off branch to supply the abdominal part of the ureter. While in the pelvics, the abdominal part of the ureter is not there. So definitely this region will be supplied by the arteries that are within this space. At the pelvic brain, there is a division of the abdominal ureter into the right common iliac and the left common iliac. The right common iliac further subdivides into the external iliac and the internal iliac. From the name external and internal, the external iliac artery supplies structures of the lower limb, while internal iliac enter into the pelvis to supply structures that are located within the pelvic region. So. This gives off branch to supply the lower part of the ureter, which is the pelvic part of the ureter. And this is understandable because arteries that will be supplying the different region must literally be close to that region. So let's go through this thing why. If you're able to justify and explain why this occurred, then I think this lecture is good enough for you. You should be able to explain why we have two ureters, why not three or even one. Why the constrictions within the internal wall of the ureter? Do they have any relevance? Why are they even there? Why does the ureter form tunnel at the entrance of the urinary bladder? Is it just for fashion? Why do we have different arteries supplying the different region of the ureter? Why do we have this distinct presentation. Well, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Let's continue to upgrade through this channel.